All right, guys, welcome to another how-to video on the Piston Slap channel. Today we're going to be removing the stock muffler, the pre-chamber or pre-muffler, and the catalytic converter. Uh, there is a little bit of rumor that the pre-chamber down here is actually the cat on this bike. It's uh, actually not. And then I've also found some uh, discrepancies, or not discrepancies, but differences between the U.S. versions and uh, some of you guys over on the other side of the pond there on what you guys have. Uh, I've noticed that you guys have O2 sensors. We don't. I don't know why, but we don't have O2 sensors. People that think that the, the box between the muffler itself and the head pipe is the catalytic converter, but on the 13 ZX6R, and I believe all the way up to 16, the cat is actually up in the head pipe. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that today, uh, along with replacing this with a grave slip-on. And that'll get rid of uh, pretty much the pre-chamber and the muffler and tidy things up. A, uh, another thing I'm gonna do a little bit different is I'm actually gonna remove the servo assembly completely out of the bike, all the cables, everything. Uh, what some of the instructions have you do is just basically undo this uh, Oh, cog or whatever. They undo the cables and everything and pull those off and just leave the servo in there. Uh, when you pull that servo out, it'll actually set a check engine light. So that's where I'm going to have my ECU flashed to take care of that. So I can just remove all of it so it's less clutter on the bike. But we'll go ahead and uh, get started with uh, first undoing these cables. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is remove this wire or cable clamp that just basically bends out of the way. And you can see how these cables just kind of route up here and right inside these little things is your adjuster. So you can adjust the cable slack, which we want to back ours all the way off. With an adjustable wrench or and an eight millimeter wrench, you can adjust or back these cables off. What I'm gonna use is these handy set of pliers and my adjustable wrench that fits everything and loosen that up. Screw these together and what that does is it lets slack in the cable so you can remove it. You can see like that. Just pull that cable back a little bit and that basically what it does is it pulls your actuator down here you can see it actually pulls the cable back through. And like so, you're all done. And uh, just ever so gently pull your cabling down through the bike and out. Right here behind your rear set is going to be a uh, like a wire hook. You just push the wires down and then pull them back towards the rear master cylinder and then up and out will undo them. I don't know if you can see that down in there where my fingers are. Simple like that. And we'll just pull one through at a time. We won't scratch anything. Like I said, I don't want to tear anything up where if I ever needed to put this bike back to stock, I could. Or if you sell your parts to someone, you know, they're not all messed up. So there's all that. So to get, there's a clamp right here. So to get to this clamp, will actually just be right under here and you got, it looks like a 10 millimeter. And just loosen that clamp. And you got another, it looks like 10. So with the 10 millimeter, sorry for the angle, go ahead and loosen your clamp. It's a 13 millimeter on the back side here, guys. Or you can use an adjustable wrench like I'm going to do. And I'll probably pull all my bushings out and everything later on, guys, and put it all on the stock one. And then just kind of wiggle it up and down. And pull out at the same time. Simple like that. Like I said, I've removed my cables, so... And I'm going to have this uh, ECU flashed, so I don't need this guy sitting in here anymore. Just one less thing needed. 
Uh, if you guys don't have your ECU flash, you're just simply putting the slip on and getting rid of that pre-chamber. Get a picture for you guys in there. So a lot of people think this is a cat for some reason. So the next part will be to get your pre-muffler off. And the pre-muffler's got two bolts that are held back here. So we'll need to remove this shield, which looks like it's gonna have three uh, Allens. Three Allens are gonna be a five millimeter. Simple. Simple like that, a little shield. You should be able to, uh, without an extension, to stick this up in there behind it without hurting your fairing and loosen your, your clamp. So go ahead and uh, take these two bolts loose here. And there's another fastener back there, it looks like. All right, guys, so originally I was gonna just take the bolts loose right here and pull that pre-chamber off, but being that it's tight and beyond belief from the factory, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this to give me some access to use some bigger tools in here. So, we got four millimeter Allens. Six millimeter Allen on an extension. Let's go ahead and stick it in there. Oh yeah. Man, do you hear how tight that was? It was ridiculous. So go ahead and loosen this clamp. loose and just wiggle it basically wiggle this thing if you want to take the rear tire out and make it easier it is but this uh I'll go ahead and pull this out the rest of the way this guy actually pushes up against the tire when you try to go back There's a little bit of water in there There's a lot of water in there um, but you can see so you wanna keep this seal, guys, pushed all the way into the head pipe. Try to from, keep from damaging it because it's what's gonna seal your exhaust. There's one on this side and there's one in here. Let's go ahead and... So this is what everybody thinks is the catalytic converter. It's a water maker. You guys can see that there's no cat there's no cat in this whatsoever guys you can see right through it I won't be able to stick my camera up in the head pipe but what I can do is stick this guy up in there snap a picture for you and you can see the cat so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna knock my cat out some guys I'll tell you, you need to pull the head pipe off. That's the proper way to do it, do it because when we're beating on that, it's putting all that uh, stress up into the head pipe and could potentially cause an exhaust leak. This is where I'm gonna take it on my own behalf and I'm going to shortcut this. I don't recommend you guys do this. If you do it, go ahead, it's fine. But if you have a leak afterwards, you know, like I said, that's, you're doing it on your own behalf. All right guys, so we got the cat gutted. Your choice if you want to gut it or not. Like I said, I would strongly re recommend taking the head pipe off the bike. I didn't, I have some tools and stuff that I uh, just pounded it out and everything. If you want to see what it is, I got an image, I'll pop up here real quick. And you can see there's like two donuts. Um, those donuts 
is this is what you're actually looking at. These donuts, they're in a collar, and they're inside that pipe, and then they weld it so that way that doesn't move. But um, Catalytic converters in an automobile are a little different, um, being that most of them are like almost like a ceramic, so you can just hit them and they shatter. Uh, that wasn't the case with this. It's almost like you can hear it. It's like tin foil, and they took the tin foil and put whatever it is that oxidizes crap in it. So that was the the second one in. They have them set back a ways, and they're, it was a kind of a pain in the butt. That's I tried to get it out as whole as a kid. That's about all I got out of the first one because I mean I tried to beat it apart like the like a car catalytic converter. So uh, now we're gonna go ahead and move on with the uh, Graves uh, slip-on. And you're gonna need a fastener off of this guy right here. Oh yeah, like that guys. So there's a idea to get that fastener out of there. If you're like me and you don't have one nearby. Like so. Handle with care. You don't want to drop your new pipe. And then line it up. And wiggle. Use a 14 millimeter, or like I always like to refer to my one size fits all wrench. spec for this is going to be, if you don't have a torque wrench, uh, just think uh, a lot of vibration in that area, so uh, pretty tight is how you're going to want it. Now, Graves claims 13, 13 to 14 pounds of savings with removing all of that. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm not going to race the bike by any means. So let's roll the bike outside and see how she sounds. sound to it. So with that being said guys, uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, joining me on how to install that grave slip on. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down in the comment section below. I'm Piston Slap, ride safe guys.